G'day, Jared from Tyre View here, and um, I've been rolling for about the last eight and a half thousand k's on the Maxxis Razor AT, so not the MT, it's the AT. So it's a slightly more aggressive pattern than what they normally have, so the 771, that sort of thing. And I've actually been remarkably impressed with these tyres. I was worried because, you know, these slightly more aggressive patterns are sometimes not as good, not as good in the wet, um, but on roundabouts, slow speed, They've been really good. There's been a touch of little bit of understeery, oversteery if you just, you know, if you give it a bit too much in the right boot. But I mean, you shouldn't be doing that anyway. You should be driving to the conditions. Every day driving, they've actually been really good. So um, a little bit of little bit of noise, but not as much as I was expecting given the aggressive pattern. So again, marginally more noise than your average all-terrain, but nothing to complain about. Because the pattern is aggressive, they have actually been really good off-road. So we've just come through some fairly serious tracks. to roll one off the rim. Oh no! Oh! Rangers, mate. Rangers. Look, forward, forward drives. That is a tire completely off the rim. Well, it's coming up here and it sort of slid to the right. And um, I didn't notice that it had come off the B. We gave it some welly, some, lots of wellies. And um, was it the driver or the car? combination of both I guess. Right. So around the front I have managed to put some glass in one as well. Probably had the most adventurous time with these tyres that I've had yet with any of these tyres, any of the tyres that I've tested but um, I've given them help and they've come back for more. So the Maxxis Razor AT I would certainly recommend as a great uh, aggressive all-terrain tyre for pretty much anyone who's actually going to be getting off the beaten track more regularly than not. So yeah, Maxxis Razor AT, go out and get them.